Welcome to this demonstration of scheduling meetings in Lotus Notes. Most Lotus Notes users are familiar with the basic calendar functions. This video will demonstrate how to use some of the more advanced meeting features. Let's open the calendar and click on the New button in the upper left of the screen, then click on Meeting. The meeting entry appears. We'll give the meeting a title, then select a date and time. Now we're going to select who to invite to the meeting. You can type in the names manually or select them from the directory. You can also choose your entire department by selecting its corresponding group from the directory. At this point, we could simply click on Save and Send Invitations. The recipients would receive the invite and either accept or decline the meeting invitation. But we are going to take advantage of the advanced calendar features. Lower down on the screen, there is a tab labeled Find Available Times. By clicking on it, we can see the availability of those we want to invite. Drag the meeting bar along the grid. When the bar turns green, that time slot is available for all invitees. Availability also works for the new rooms feature. We can select the room where we want to have the meeting. Then click on find available times and it is available. Next we add a description for our meeting. Then we click on the button in the upper left labeled Save and Send Invitations. The meeting appears in my calendar immediately. Returning to my inbox, I see an email from the room notifying me that it is available and reserved for my meeting. No one else will be able to book the room at that time. The next day when I check my inbox I see the responses from the invitees. All but one accepted the meeting invitation. Reviewing emails may not always be the most efficient means of checking an invitee status, especially when many people have been invited or when you have an inbox full of other emails. Instead, we can open the meeting and click on invitee status at the bottom left. It will show us in one location all who have accepted and declined the meeting invitation. Now we'll look at what happens when someone invites me to a meeting. In this case, my colleague Tracy has sent me a meeting invitation. The subject line shows me the date and time. On the right side of my screen, I look at my day at a glance sidebar and see the invitation in gray because I have not accepted it yet. I open the invite and click on Check Calendar to see my availability. 
I am available. I click on done and then I click on accept in the upper left. The invite disappears from my inbox. The meeting turns from gray to blue in my day at a glance view. The meeting also appears in my calendar. That brings us to the end of this demonstration. Thanks for watching. For more information about Lotus Notes calendaring, see the help menu or contact the help desk at helpdesk at la.psu.edu.